Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to review the brand new Ping G425 drivers. So we have the G425 SFT, we have the G425 LST, and we have the G425 Max. So all three heads do something slightly different, and we'll hit all three and just see if I can actually see the difference with my swing. But let's see if the technology in all three can have an effect. If you do enjoy this video, please do smash that like button down below. And if you haven't already and you're new here, consider hitting that subscribe button too and the little bell icon next to it will alert you every new video I post. Let's get started. So G425 in the max head with the driver is probably the one they're expecting to sell best. So let's have a quick talk about the tech in the club head and then the little variations on the three different head designs. So first of all, you get the Dragonfly tech that they've refined in the club head on the crown. So that is basically the crown they're making as thin as possible, but within those kind of thin parts of the crown, they've still kept some strong, sort of slightly thicker strong points, a bit like webbing, to keep it nice and stable and strong on top. You still get the movable weight in the back of the club head, but it doesn't move quite as far in this model in the G425. It only moves about an inch either way. But again, that's to really increase that MOI to give you a more forgiving, more consistency out of the club. And obviously when you move it from side to side, you're just gonna change the bias slightly towards heel or toe, depending on which shot shape you're really trying to reduce slightly. So you get a precision forged face on this club face, a bit like a lot of manufacturers do now, they have a forged club face on the drivers. The idea with the club face is they've tried to create as high a ball speeds off the face by making it as thin as they possibly can. And obviously they're changing the thickness of the face depending on where it is to try and keep those ball speeds as high as they can, even on off-center hits. Obviously, they're still trying to make the club head design as aerodynamic as possible. They've still got the turbulators on top, which they say makes a difference when it comes to the airflow across the top, to try and keep the club head speed as high as possible coming into the ball. And you have the adjustable hosel still, so you can move that loft up and down one degree or one and a half degrees, as well as making the lie angle flatter. But when you do that, you can only adjust the loft by one degree either way. What they've done internally on the sole is They've put strengthening kind of ribs through the inside of the sole of the club, which then join the top and the bottom of the club together, makes it stronger, keeps the ball speed up, gets you more distance. So now we talk through the tech, let's have a hit with each club head and see if there's any differences. So first of all, the LST is very slightly smaller in club head size, 445 cc compared to the 460 and they say due to the slight design tweaks of that, they say they can reduce the spin rate between 500 and 700 RPM. Let's have a hit and we'll see in a minute whether that's actually true for me. Looks down by the ball really nice. Sits nice and neutral to slightly open, which for me is good because I do feel like my miss is left. So having that face not sit closed really does promote kind of confidence. That's a pretty good shot. You got straight down the line. So first shot, we've got three, four backspin, launch angle 11 degrees, carry 253, total distance 268, and ball speed 156. Very loud noise off that face, sort of it, it, ping do make some loud sounding drivers. That was a good swing, good strike. Again, similar looking landing spot, about 250. 256, 29 backspin, better backspin that time, it was a much better strike and 12.7 degrees launch, so high launching with a slightly lower backspin, that's giving me a little bit more distance, and ball speed 153. Yeah, it'll take you a little bit of time maybe to get used to the sound and the noise off that club face. It certainly is very loud, kind, kind of quite uh, a metallic noise off that face, but yeah, it comes off really well. Another nice strike. Again, you see the shape just doesn't want to go left, which is really nice. It's moving from left to right. That always gives me the confidence that I'm not going to miss that ball left or I'm not going to overdraw it or cook it. So I just feel like I can aim at the left and let it drift. I should put it in the bag right now. Again, what we've got there, about similar distance. Again, two, five, three, three and a half thousand RBM backspin, 10 and a half degree launch, 158 mile an hour ball speed. Those numbers are pretty good for me. They're all very similar to what I would expect to see. That's slightly, probably higher than I'd like backspin, but let's now see if we put the max head and the SFT head into play. 
whether that backspin goes up by five to 700 RPM. So now we move to the G425 SFT head. So the differences with this compared to both the Max and the LST are the weighting is basically fixed in the heel compared to in the middle of the head where you had the sliding weight. So what that does is it keeps the MOI high, but it moves the bias much more into the heel, which means the club head can square up much more easily. So what Ping says is they can generate about 10 to 15 yards more curve from right to left with this head compared to the other two. I've lofted it down to nine degrees because of my spin rate being high already and the LST was also nine. So just to keep things consistent. So it looks down by the ball immediately. It's a much, much bigger club head and that slightly more stretched out heel where the weight is does make it seem almost like a little bit more balanced in the club head shape. So it actually looks very nice, looks very hittable, looks very forgiving. I really like the look of this, too fair, down by the ball. It does make me feel like I'm gonna hit it straighter. Not bad first shot, a little bit low in the head, but it's certainly got up in the air. The 240 carry, a little bit of fade still. Again, very similar noise, maybe slightly louder. There you go, that's the first one I've actually moved right to left in the air. Pretty good for numbers though. Let's have a look at the numbers there. So two six backspin, so lower, lowish backspin, launching 16 degrees, ball speed 151. So all those numbers are certainly gonna give you a bit more distance. Ooh, there we go. Don't like that shape. I would put that one down to me. It wasn't a very good swing. It's a better one. Certainly just by eye, it seems to be going a little bit higher launching higher, that was 13.939 backspin, that's far too high for a driver with that launch. So I've hit that high in the face, so that's gonna come off high with lower spin, hopefully. 250 distance, two backspin, 15 degree launch, 152. So let's finish off by hitting some with the max head. So again, a bit like the SFT, it's a much bigger head design, so you get the maximum kind of size of the 460cc. The weighting, however, is back in the middle, and it's back to the slider, so you get the kind of little bit of bias adjustability if you need it. And again, you still get the adjustability in the neck, so I've lofted it down to nine degrees to match the other lofts. Let's have a hit and see how it goes. Certainly sits a little bit more open than the uh, SFT, as you'd expect. So a little bit more towards the SFT look down by the ball, but just bigger. Oh, that's got a different noise. That wasn't the best strike, but it has definitely made a different noise off the face that time. That's probably just that bigger head and possibly the position of that weight. That's certainly high, just under 250 carry. Launch 15 degrees, spinning at three and a half. So it's the, the, really the launch angle and the spin rate for me there, just killing my distance. But very, very different noise. I wasn't expecting that just with one out of the three heads. So obviously with the max size, you've got a much more forgiving head, higher MOI, should be a little bit more easy to be consistent, which helps when you miss strike it. Okay, and all these are gonna be high spinning ones. That's a better strike. So high launch for sure, massively high shots. Not bad, a little bit underneath where the LST was, They're just over 250, so three, two backspin, 16 launch, one, five, one ball speed. 247 carry. Let's hit a couple more and then we'll do a quick comparison of all the three drivers. So there we go guys, out the three heads, for me it's going to be the LST head all day long. My higher swing speed, higher spin rate needs that help to keep the spin down as much as possible. The only other thing I can do is play around with the lofts and obviously the way I swing the club to try and control spin and launch to get a little bit more out of the, out of the distance. But when you go get fitted, make sure you're hitting each club head design because you don't know necessarily which one is gonna give you what you need. Go and try all three, make sure you're getting all the data and just keep an eye on whether the ball speeds, the spin rates and the launch angles are giving you what you need to get the most distance. Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed that video, please do smash that like button down below. It really does help the channel and it helps others find the videos they're looking for. If you're new here and you like these videos and you wanna see more, hit that subscribe button down below and the little bell icon next to it will notify you of every new video I post. If there's anything else, guys, you wanna see me review or put head to head, put it down in the comments down below and I'll see what I can do. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay safe and I'll see you next time. Oh, 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 oh,